what's going to be expected of us all, and that is that we are going to create a presentation of a given project. We're going to zoom into social projects, your particular social projects, but we're going to come in from a very broad angle picture. And that broad angle picture is going to start with capitalism. Have you ever heard about Adam Smith? So if you don't like to assume risk, you're not the best person to run a business. When wolves were reintroduced in 1995, now we, we all know that wolves kill various species of animals, but perhaps we're slightly less aware that they give life to many others. How you make a profit will become as important as profit itself. How do you make the consumer responsible? Like, bring value, not only money. Conscious capitalism is based on the conscience of the people and the consumers and the entrepreneurs. How will you convince the entrepreneur to invest in something in a socially responsible business? So what we got to figure out is, like I said before, we got to study the problem. What's their problem? Does anybody have like something they would like to add to this definition that we're building here? Taking a risk to solve the social problem. My aunt had cancer and she was really down and she didn't like looking in the mirror because she felt really bad and I'm a, like I was I was what 13 and I really liked makeup so my mom gave me some money and she said go buy her something so I bought her fake eyelashes and some mascara and some like eyebrow filler and I did her makeup at my house and when she looked in the mirror she smiled and it's like your heart kind of just stopped Os Meninos do Morumbi é um espaço de educação para valores, onde a gente usa a música para atrair as crianças e adolescentes e blindá-los contra as coisas ruins que possam existir nas ruas. Here he is. This is the menino do Morumbi. É, a zaleira bife. Eu acho que o maior desafio dos Meninos do Morumbi é com relação a, 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 a formação dos bons valores, como a ética e a moral moldam esses bons valores. filho mais velho, o Matheus, ele falou, mãe, a gente já fez ação com brinquedo, com roupa, a gente nunca pensou nos livros, olha quantos livros a gente tem. Esses livros que a gente acabou de receber aqui, quem doa não tem noção do que isso significa pra nós. Obrigada! One of the things that I've always wondered about is the phrase Who cares? Basta você ter esse mindset de olhar problemas como oportunidades de ação. Olhar para a realidade à sua volta e simplesmente não se conformar dizendo assim, ah, é assim e pronto. Não, é assim. Tem, tem que ter um jeito de mudar isso, né? Tem que, cê, vamos fazer alguma coisa para mudar essa realidade. É essa a cabeça do empreendedor social. Para as pessoas não terem mais que tomar aquela decisão ingrata que nos anos 50 as pessoas tinham que tomar, que é vou fazer dinheiro ou vou fazer o bem. Today is they're working on this one. They've gotten past the amateur sort of let's have fun stuff. Now they're getting serious. Now they're going to be talking to companies. Now they're going to be raising serious money. Okay, to try to fund their project. It's like the process. If we're gonna do this, we should research the most commonly bought. Basically, the kind of our network and which. And set up a distribution network inside slums, for example, for actual funding. Yeah, or something. Just, just get the materials. You even actually have to buy the materials. Just like move out. A gente tinha que ficar. A gente foi um prazo. A gente falou para a escola que estava um prazo. There are so many people that would like to help, but they don't know how. Os empreendimentos que decolam mais rápido, que que duram mais tempo e tudo mais, são aqueles que estão muito linkados ao incômodo, à motivação do do empreendedor. So uh, one of our ideas too was incentivating uh, 
math through games or competition and that's just like I always wanted to do more and just uh, get more. É, e a princípio se a gente não tivesse as, as câmeras para as crianças. Tá. Como que a gente vai? Tipo, junto. Well, this is the same as the one we have in the coughs, isn't it? Pô, eu tenho meu filho, ele acerta em filho. A gente quer conversar. A gente vai pro café e a gente tem vídeos. <laughs> that we get really engaged with what you're doing and know exactly how they feel without water. Okay, are we ready? One, two, three. Two, three. Go, go. Brazil is of the three categories, pizza ranks. And at the same time, we decided to couple that problem with another problem that we have. That's happening every single day in Brasilia. So what she told us that we have to be happy right now. Imagine you're this guy. You're walking the streets and out of nowhere you just have this brilliant idea. It was a pleasure to come here and see the presentation. We have been in a lot of uh, events like just like this one when we sit and then evaluate the, the social businesses. You have a privilege to be in a school that have a real good schools, that have a really good education. I'm a, I've been a counselor for over 10 years now and Karen's been a school psychologist as well. And, and so this is a passion of ours. And so we've learned so much from you guys. Thank you to all the students for just making this experience awesome for us. It's well beyond our expectations. And we're hoping it's the first annual. So um, hopefully you guys join us. Starting up companies is very glamorized, it's a very big idea, it's becoming very popular. And it was good to learn in these three days that it's very hard to do so. And it was a great experience to know that in the real world, you just have to sit down, crunch numbers, and that's how you get your results. It's impressive how much power our generation, the younger generation has, how much uh, we can affect the world and how we can change the world. Well, I'm Carolina Rabat, I'm from St. Paul's, and I really love learning how to actually set up your business and to actually make this whole part project of helping people actually sustainable. It, it was a really amazing opportunity to be here. Thank you.